such a package that you're going to pay her. Well, that's the way that I agree. I agree. Yeah. I, but I just want to leave you. Nobody is discussing what are going to be the penalties if, for instance, they raise our fees. And I think that our problem is not signing a piece of paper. Our real problem is how you are stopping the Iranian military project, nuclear military project. First. And second, how you are reassuring that there are signings that are really fulfilling you from every aspect. And I think it's a, a very complicated issue. Somebody who had for a very long time an interest in Iran. I don't think the line of the Iranians is that they are going to sit down quietly and accept because they sign an agreement with you. Yeah, I can give you a few examples. Yes, we should do that. Yeah. We should, you know, don't trust Verify. And yeah. that'll be a big component of it. And if it's not there, yeah, but how, the how, US Senate for starters won't accept it and then Tel Aviv won't accept it. So I think that's you know, that's part and parcel of the agreement. But how would it yeah, intrusive verification? I, I agree, but this is not only an inspection because till now theoretically there was an inspection in Iran. And that's we, we, we have kept up with what's going on actually. We've had yes. a very good feel for what's going on yes, inside it was not Bordeaux and, and inside the pots. I agree, but it was not because of the inspection. Oh no, it's a big question. With respect, I mean we're I've actually been in the business more recently. And, um, certainly other endeavors, other activities supplemented enormously, but having on the ground inspectors counting and all the rest of this has been invaluable. Now that's been informed by obviously a lot of help from other sources. I looked a little bit about the agreement that was signed. And for instance, since this point in time, the Iranians are not allowing anybody to expect military base. They are lying only to those declared areas and some of those sites that we know are located under military responsibility. And the system of inspection is you cannot really trust if they are not going to see. No. Uh, I never would. Yes, I will give you an example of two other countries like Syria or Libya that for a very long time they had a project. And they were committed to agreement, the national agreement, but they didn't get it. The my theory is because I'm looking deeply on the desires and the goals of the regime, that they want an agreement that will remove the sanctions. Of course. They are really not interested in solving the nuclear problem. And from my point of view, any agreement that will not have a penalty when you are not excluded, when you are misleading the world, or what would be the level of inspection, and how you are really able to fulfill your commitment for inspection, and uh, how you are able to check every site without coordinating with the Iranians, including military bases. I think the agreement is uh, not going to go on board. I, th I think the vast majority of that is actually doable. There are certainly going to be sites that will not be subject to inspection and again you figure out how to supplement that and figure that out. But I think we've had very good as it's turned insights into the Iranian nuclear program. We knew about the quote covert site at Fordo way, way, way before it was ever declared. Uh, that's not to say that we should not be worried. The, the worry I have actually is not what takes place on the military base. The worry I would have is what takes place in some covert site somewhere else that's deeply buried in. But again, that's not easy to do something like that uh, in this day and age. And uh, again, we should not trust, we should verify. And everything you said actually should be part of that agreement or should be announced as it is signed that, you know, let, and again, if this, we actually have a 